Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice, and welcome to our daily reading. Hope you're doing well. Let's see what we got going on. At the time you watch this video, we're going to be looking at the energy of the weekend for you. I keep forgetting. For the past couple of weeks, I think, I didn't. I just didn't realize it was a Friday. <laughs> um, so I didn't do a weekend video. I did like a daily one. Chucho. So I remembered it's, it's it's the weekend coming up, so we're going to do a weekend reading for you. And if you're not finding this right before the weekend, this could talk about whatever the upcoming weekend is for you, whenever that is for you, or just the next couple of days. And as always, just take the messages as they resonate with you. And watch any other video on the channel that you feel called to watch. All right, you've got weekly videos, you've got monthly videos. I managed to do individual signs this month. Lots of content for you to watch. So thank you in advance for liking, sharing, commenting on videos, for subscribing. All right, let's see. All right, and all right, we'll just sit there. Uh, yep. Oracle energy and advice for the weekend for my subscribers. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so we have Alpha that wants to be seen. One more. I saw Fusion, but it didn't come out, so we'll pick one. Okay. All right. All right, so let's get these cards lined up and see what we got going on this weekend. And stay tuned for your upcoming weekly reading as well. All right, so let's look at the tarot first. So we have the Eight of Wands, very nice. The High Priestess in the center of the reading and the Ten of Cups. Wow. Okay. So there's um, fast communication coming in this weekend. Um, or there's fast progress that is happening. Now you could look at it as Friday, Saturday, Sunday energies. Or just overall energies of the weekend. But there's fast movement. There's fast uh, communication. Um, this could be things picking up speed or some sort of approval or some sort of green light or if you have a speaking engagement whether that's just having a conversation or an interview of some sort and then you're just waiting to see what happens I feel like towards the end of the weekend or early in the following week there's some sort of happy conclusion to whatever this conversation or communication was and the oracles we have 31 conjurer higher self fertility and creativity this could be good news about home and family, good news regarding pregnancy or your children, um, but it could also be good news in terms of your business or your career. We have 15, migration, initiation, adventure, and freedom. Yeah, so for some of you, this is relocation matters. Um, whatever transition you've been trying to make, there's fast progress with that we also have alpha talking about once again a new beginning for you that is very significant and sacrifice so something being 46 number 10 something being cut out something being sacrificed in order to have this new beginning right so walking away from one job to start the new one walking away from one place to move to a different location um there's a, a negotiation energy here okay how are we going to do this what's what are the terms and conditions what are the expectations how are we how are we going to make it work um so whether that's negotiating with someone or just discussing terms conditions expectations okay we got this to do this weekend how am i gonna how are we gonna do it or how am i gonna do everything um 
but there's definitely, it's almost like there's a surge of energy, fast movement, change, communication, okay? Then there's a pause, um, and there's a, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I'm hoping for the best. High Priestess with the Conjurer energy could be pausing to say a little prayer about it, right? It doesn't have to be like a whole day, but pausing to say a little prayer, pausing to do a little bit of manifestation um, work, um, do some um, affirmation practice or exercise, okay? Um, as you're waiting to see if this leads to anything, right? You could be, um, and that could be the message, right? Choose to focus on what you're trying to create versus worst case scenarios because with the conjure energy we're manifesting regardless so it's just a little reminder if there is any sort of pause if there is any sort of waiting period stay positive stay optimistic say a prayer work on your manifestation keep your end goal in mind right keep visualizing that keep visualizing a happy outcome for yourself because there is great news there is green light there is approval there is a happy conclusion coming in that leads to the migration from something over here in order to have any beginning so it's a transition change that we're looking at it's a migration change that we're looking at um, and there's movement there's significant movement if it doesn't happen this weekend there's a communication that's coming in or there's some sort of conversation that is being had that is going to be the catalyst Okay, that's going to be a turning point for you. You may be aware of it at the time. You may not. Okay. That's why it's so important to keep focusing on the end goal. Because you have a happy conclusion here with the Ten of Cups as your last card in the tarot. That's the outcome energy. And there's a there's a trade that needs to happen okay there's a trade that needs to happen and whether that means i'm walking away from this in order to pursue this or there's that negotiation of there's new expectations now there is new requirements now so it's going to take up more of your time it's going to take up more of your resources for a time or moving forward but there's a trade-off here. So let's see. Pick your fortune cookie message. You can pick number one, number two, or number three. Or you can uh, set the intention to receive messages from two of the cards, all of the cards. Luck flew out. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. So it's connected to this, right? So get out there, start the conversation, send out those messages, do those follow-ups. All right, put your ideas out there. Or if you have, if you're getting invited to things, go. See what happens. We have tough and trying times. Tough times ahead, think long-term and make decisions accordingly. Avoid negative people at all costs. So just be mindful of mindset, um, keep it positive, uplifted, focus on what you want to see happen, not what you're afraid will happen. Be mindful of who you're talking to, okay? It's very important. Don't allow naysayers around you. This is not that time. This is time for optimism, creativity, okay? That's what you want to manifest, so that's what you have to embody as well. So just something to be mindful of. If you chose number one, we have sunshine. The sun is shining on you, career and business growth, fabulous communication in relationships. So that's what's coming up. Tying in with the reading very nicely. Number two, we have burnout. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. There's a trade-off here, like I say. Just make sure that you're not sacrificing your health for anything. Okay, maintain that balance. That's the high priestess as well. And if you chose number three, we have sexuality. Existing relationships could find a new passion and heighten sexual attraction. Opportunities for marriage are good. Sorry, opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong. But if single, beware of temptation that could lead to trouble. A child will also bring great joy. Now, these could be quite literal. 
but also just interpret them in the context that makes sense to you with what you have going on. But this is a pretty good reading, okay? So there's a trade-off that is happening here, but you're getting what you want out of it. You just have to make sure, okay, there's, there's something that needs to be cut or cut out, whether that's a mindset or people around you or... Um, it's just the, the natural walking away from something to embark upon a new path, right? But yeah, that's what I have for us this weekend. Really cool reading. Let me know how you resonate with it if you do, what you got going on. Hope this helps. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.